Hi everyone, it's Front Row Phyllis, the iconic 2006 film based on the novel by the same name, The Devil Wears Prada, has provided a generation with timeless entertainment, withering comebacks, and a full array of Instagram captions such as, I refuse to be sick, I'm wearing Valentino, and for crying out loud. Well, The Devil Wears Prada, the musical, is a glamorous and hilarious story about finding your place and discovering what matters most. Well, joining us today are the beloved leading ladies, the queen of Broadway. I'm talking about Beth Level, who plays Miranda Priestley, and the incredible Taylor Iman Jones, who plays Andy Sachs. Thank you guys for joining us. You're welcome. We are so excited to have you here. We're so excited to have the musical here. Joyous, funny, and ultra glamorous story about navigating life's runway to discover where you're meant to be. So, how does the musical give the hit film a fresh new makeover? That's a very good question. And I would say, firstly, our musical is a musical. So, Andy Sachs and Miranda Priestly actually get to sing some of their feelings and sing some of their lines that uh, you may be familiar with from the movie. It's also our lens is 2022. And that informs, a di it's a different world now than 16 years ago. And most of our creatives, 98% of our creatives are women. So it's yes. a really empowering story about women, journey, authenticity. Yeah and entertaining. Yeah, and the 2022 of it all really impacts the representation in our show, which therefore does impact our story. Um, it, I think it's going to make the, sh the show even more accessible for more audience and people out there. Um, and because it's a musical and we do get to sing our feelings, we get a deeper look into all of the characters, not just Andy and Miranda, but Nate and the friends. And Chris, it's, it's really cool to experience, like to take a deeper look at everybody as they're going through the journey. It's so true because there's nothing like, you know, they say when you can no longer speak, you have to sing. Mm -hmm. So we have deeper things to sing about than the, the movie. As it like gets to do, yeah. Right, because it was a film and now that, you know, it's a live musical. Now it's it's a live really musical. exciting. And to have, you know, just to jump ahead is that the amazing Sir Elton John. Oh my gosh. I mean, when you heard that, <laughs> there was one point in rehearsal where he actually, uh, there was a new song being introduced and he had sent over uh, a demo of his, him singing and none of us really heard it because we were, we were going, what is our lives? <laughs> what is happening right now that we are listening yeah. to Sir Elton John? sing his original piece that now Chicago will share with us. So Beth, you've played, okay, let's just say a couple divas in your time. Yes, I have. A few divas from Drowsy Chaperone to Dee Dee Allen in The Prom, which we love, to now Miranda Priestly. So they're all drastically different characters. How do you find the inner diva in all of them, but yet play them a little different? It's interesting. Well, fortunately, I've had phenomenal scripts that it's a very good blueprint of where I need to jump off from. Um, this one included with great love to the movie. But each, like, people were asking me, it's like, well, you're always funny. You know, you play the funny one. You play the, you know, that you have the big, the belt numbers. And this diva's a little different. And it's a little terrifying how easy she was to access. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because I have two children, two boys, that I've learned how to embrace my inner Miranda quite successfully. But uh, so to be able to find my authentic diva in Miranda has been glorious. Has been glorious. She's so much fun to inhabit. She's so much fun. And then I'm dressed in ways I can't even articulate. So there's that. The clothing? Just wait. Yeah, I, just wait. That's what, I mean, just hearing about, oh my gosh, the fashions. I mean, we know the fashions from the movie. Right. And now bring it to, you know, 2022. 
Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, yeah. it's yeah. it's mind blowing. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan is so good, our costume designer. Yeah. That's another way like is gonna make the movie fresh is it's yeah. fashion has changed over the last sixteen right. years. Or there's just more to pull from and she has dived into every part of her being and is bringing it to our show. So it's oh, so good. So, you know, Taylor, Andy Sachs, of course, who play, lands a job as an assistant to the stylish but yeah, terrifying boss, <laughs> Miranda, who happens to be Miss Beth. Yeah. And yeah. without naming names, have you ever worked for somebody like a Miranda? I know I have. <laughs> you know, I don't, I, I think I'm fortunate enough to say that I haven't been terrorized quite like that but um i've done a lot of temping when i i've tempted in san francisco i've done temping in uh, new york and so that experience i can pull from of being in a, new offices new space new bosses new rules uh, yeah that i can easily relate to and the way that they treat you you know beth we were talking about this is that you've pretty much done so much and for so long. Was there ever a time that you thought, what would I have done if I didn't go into this business? Yes, okay. and I don't have a satisfying answer. You know, because it, it's our industry, our profession, there are good days, good years, bad years, great years, terrible years. <laughs> and in the terrible years, I'm like, what am I gonna do? I have two kids, you know? But never, ever, ever did I change my mind. If I had, I'd been an interior decorator. <laughs> do you think so? I think so, yeah. I think that's what I would have done. Really? Mm. Taylor, what do you? Hair and makeup. I yeah. definitely would have been a hair and makeup. That's, I mean, I love doing that on myself, but if there was something else I was going to, could dedicate time to, yeah, I love that. Yeah. yeah. So for the younger generation, we talked a little bit off camera about that want to go into this business. Yes. Um, what advice would you guys give? I always say believe in yourself more than anybody else on the planet. Because it is a hard job and there are good days, bad days. And it's easy to love what you do when you have a job. It is so hard to believe that you'll ever do it again <laughs> when you don't have a job. And so you have to have faith in yourself um, and remember that it's the best thing on the planet. And so as long as you keep working and have patience and have faith that it will, I don't know, like it will always work out. That's yeah, that's out. great. I would also say that your singularity is your biggest gift. Don't imitate, learn, always grow, but your singularity is what we need in the world. Oh my gosh, you guys are fabulous. We cannot wait to see we you. We cannot wait to share it. We are so excited for opening night. Yay! Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you, you thank so you. much. Yay. The Devil Wears Prada the Musical playing July 19th through August 21st at the Nederlander Theater. See you there, Chicago. Devil Wears Prada. That's all. <laughs>